Hey everybody, Mike here, and I have the 2021 Lexus IS 350F Sport DHP Dynamic Handling Pack. And this is my wife's 2019 fully loaded Lexus ESF Sport. And I thought to myself, maybe you're interested in seeing them together. And I'm gonna show you some of the similarities and some of the differences from an exterior standpoint. I'll show you the interior as well of these two cars. Um, I'm gonna rehash some information. Obviously, it's all available online in, in the Lexus press room. So if I'm a little off in regards to dimensions and that sort of thing, don't kill me. You can look online. Um, obviously, straight on, you can see how similar the Lexus spindle grille design themes have become. Um, but there are a couple distinct differences that I would like to point out to you. And the first one is, if you notice with the ES, a couple things. You see how the chrome, the black chrome on the grill flows past the actual top of the grill line. Whereas with the ISF Sport, the grill line stops traditionally, but there's actually no chrome lip here. It's um, the hood, well, the bumper. So subtle, but definitely a difference. Um, another difference you'll notice is, notice how the air intakes at the bottom. And this is very traditional, as in the front bumper is surrounding it. Whereas with the, the IS, and you can see Michael, Michael is playing detective uh, today. Michael, those shoes don't match, bud. <laughs> Um, you can see that the bottom is black with the uh, the Fox air intake, it looks like. So that's one difference. A um, couple other differences. The air intakes on F-Sports, if you notice, so the air goes through here, like on the LS, etc. You also got a nice front camera that you barely will notice. I love the implementation of it. It is not an option on the ESF Sport uh, well, for 2019, and I wish it was because that's something we definitely miss uh, in comparison. Let's look at the headlights, right? So they're the same? Well, not really, right? So you can see with the ES, that traditional trademark Lexus check or L is at the bottom, and it's all integrated, triple LED lights, um, there's no other way to get a headlight as far as I'm concerned with Lexus. you got to get a triple of these. So the IS is integrated as well, but it's at the top. And triple of these. And I'll turn the lights on so y'all can see what I'm talking about. All right. Very familiar dial. I see it. You see it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got lights on, and now I'm gonna show them to you. All right. Trip LED, I'm sorry, that's the only way to go. If you can insist that the car that you're buying has it, make sure you option out. I mean, it's, it's just a brighter, better uh, light pattern, but it's also just looks so much sexier uh, with the car, as far as I'm concerned. All right, so, um, that's the front. Look at the side view mirrors. You'll notice the IS does have the chrome piece in the middle, just like the ES does, but the ES, and even my LC, the bottom is body color, uh, whereas the IS is all black. Um, you can see it has, helps with the wind, same thing right there. And then it has a chrome trim. right here and you can see the difference is with the is the chrome trim it ends with the door whereas with the es it's actually still back here into the c pillar um i'll go to the rear so one of the not the most controversial aspects but definitely probably uh i would say probably what most people talk about most about is is the rear and you can see where this rear line forms now this is a pre-production unit so um the, the lip spoiler, I believe, that goes here, it's not there. Um, but you can see, to me, I've always loved raised uh, trunks. 
the first generation GS300 had a really high trunk. Uh, the GS300, 400. The GS line traditionally had it. So the IS really inherited a really thick C pillar going into the rear. And obviously, you have the light bar, which is completely different than the ES. So then I'll come here. Very traditional. Um, with the Lexus tra trademark L's. I just love the trademark L's. Uh, Chrissy's eSport, ESF Sport has the rear spoiler, but you can kind of see some of the similarities. It's not as hard into the line as, with the ES, but you can definitely see that it was it's forming here and the, the spoiler kind of hides it, but you can kind of see. I, I think both cars are absolutely really good looking sedans. Uh, bumper wise, you can see integrated exhaust. So the exhaust is actually un, in the cutout, whereas the IS has traditional exhaust tips on both sides. Badges are the same placement. And you got ES350, IS350. I'll quickly open the trunk and you can kind of see, and that's uh, detailing stuff. One cool thing about the IS that I always love, the seats drop down and you can see the trunk is really big. Um, the ES, hopefully Chrissy doesn't have anything in here. That's playing, she wouldn't. <laughs> um, so the ES has a ski. Uh, drop down the seats do not drop down um, As you can see the gas tank is on both sides of the same I'm gonna go inside really quickly um, As you can see it has a bigger screen The cup holders are exposed And it has a mouse pad this is also a touch screen which is fantastic compared to the ES which isn't it's just a remote touch and then you have in here nothing's changed that's where your usb ports go um so this reminds me of the gs uh f sport we used to have so the knob to change the avs is located on the center console believe it or not in the es everything is easy to use right here i mean all the buttons you, you know this it's all familiar just really the panel black here and again larger screen look touch screen so now i can all right get my get my fingerprint on i've already used it um you know because sometimes your brain for whatever reason it's just easier to touch something i was on a phone call actually and instead of turning it off on the phone or over here i just bow turned it off because i just saw that big red button um a couple things here it has this nice wood trim very sporty it's it's perfect and it's also on the door and it has the circular vents um, I've heard that that is a throwback to the IS 300 the first generation IS and I'm gonna hop in the ES and turn that on you can kind of see the difference for yourself and there's Michael I have discovering that's what children do I feel so bad for them they can't be kids with this COVID environment. So you can see the door. So the ES is obviously more of a luxury uh, experience. The IS has always been the sportier experience. Uh, Chrissy did go with the red leather, as you can see. And I'm going to start her up. Don't worry, I just got her 10,000K service done. Shout out to Henny Selects and Gwinnett for taking care of me. Very similar startups, as you can see. Um, but influenced by the LFA, you got... You change your AVS up at the top, whereas there was a knob here. You got your remote touch as well, but there's no touch screen, so you'll notice when I'm touching, nothing happens. Uh, hidden cup holder here, you can see the USB ports are up here, and then the cup holders in here. This has the optional um, wireless charger as well, um, and you can see the difference. Now I'm going to do your favor. Hey, Michael, come here, please. Come here. Come here. Come down here, Michael. Whew. I'll 